Hi, I'm Chip, and today we're going to be working on a machine that when you pull a knob out on it, all you hear is a hum. Now this machine may have stopped in the rinse or the spin cycle, and when you lift the lid, the tub's full of water and clothes, and it won't do anything. It won't agitate, it won't spin, and it won't drain. And there's four common reasons this may happen, and we're going to show you just how to fix them. So let's go. A young lady brought me this machine, and there's several things wrong with it. I'm fixing them one at a time. One of the things is, when you put it in the spin mode, I don't know if you can hear that humming, and the motor just hums. Now when the motor just hums like that, there's either three things wrong with it. It's going to be the capacitor. I always keep a spare capacitor on the service truck to, to check that. And this capacitor happens to be good. Or there's something stuck in the water pump and preventing the motor from turning. Or the motor's bad. The motor is probably the last thing that's going to happen. So there's probably something stuck in that water pump. So... If you're on a service call, you should get some of these. These are hose clamps on this particular machine. You can get two of them on this particular machine. It's got a stiff white hose and you can't clamp it. So you're gonna have some water on the floor. So you're gonna have to ask your customer for some towels or whatever. It's got water in the tank. But you can take these hose clamps and you can buy these at Harbor Freight. And you want to clamp off that hose as tight as you can. And a lot of times this doesn't work. The best thing to do is, is make sure all the water you can dip out of there is out. Or you take the drain hose out. And, and when you do this, always unplug the machine. Because you're working around the electrics of it down here and you don't want that to mess with you so you're gonna have to you still have water in this drain hose the best thing you could do is on this particular machine is take this drain hose take a bucket and because this drain hose is lower than the, the tub some of them are up here, so you're not going to be able to do this, but you can you can drain the water out in a bucket and take it outside. But since we're outside now, I'm not going to do anything. But, so you have your towels on the floor, whatever, and you want to take your hoses off. Pop your water pump clamps off and get ready for the flood. And sure enough, if, if you look down in here, you can see like there's a sock or something stuck in here. And you, you want to pull that out if you can. Sometimes you can't. What the heck? Somebody lost their slingshot. <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't at that girl, girl's house when I did this. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, that was that was her problem. So let's put it back together. Little articles of clothing like that, if you can call that clothing, it doesn't cover much. Uh, it's usually a kid's sock or something that gets up between the the uh, tub and the, the outer tub and it falls down into the water pump and it gets sucked into the water pump.
And when you do this, and it can compromise the water pump, so you want to make sure that your water pump isn't leaking after that. Now let's test it. Then we got to plug it in first. Sure enough, that's what it was. That's what it was. A slingshot stuck in the water pump. <laughs> hmm. I got to show Mr. Harper that one. Alright. Ready to pick up. Oh, I better do something with this. Well, if the missus came up here and saw that, she'd get the wrong impression. Well, yeah, but I'll do this. If I throw that in there, I won't be embarrassed, and neither will she. Thanks for watching.